How old should you be to drink coffee? It's a question that has been debated for years, how old should you be to drink coffee? The answer is not as simple as you might think. In this blog post, we will explore the factors that come into play when deciding whether or not to drink coffee. We will also discuss how caffeine can affect your body at different ages. So, how old should you be to drink coffee? The answer may surprise you. Coffee is one of the most popular beverages in the world. Millions of people drink it daily, for many, it is an essential part of their daily routine. But how old should you be to drink coffee? The answer is not as straightforward as you might think. Several factors come into play when deciding whether or not to drink coffee. For example, how much caffeine does the coffee contain? Caffeine is a stimulant, and it can have different effects on your body depending on your age. Young children and adolescents are still growing, and their bodies are not yet fully developed. For this reason, it is generally recommended that they avoid caffeine. Caffeine can interfere with sleep and cause anxiety and restlessness. It can also increase heart rate and blood pressure. In adults, moderate amounts of caffeine, 250 to 300 mg daily, are generally considered safe. However, pregnant women and people with certain medical conditions should limit their intake to 200 mg daily or less. Caffeine is absorbed into the bloodstream, and its effects can last several hours. So, if you are trying to reduce your caffeine intake, you must be aware of how much coffee you drink throughout the day. The question, how old should you be to drink coffee, depends on several factors. But, as a general rule of thumb, children and adolescents should avoid caffeine, and adults should limit their intake to 200 mg per day or less. How soon can you drink coffee after taking omeprazole? How old do you have to be to drink coffee? This is a question that many people ask, and the answer may surprise you. Coffee is a beverage that has been around for centuries, and its popularity continues to grow. Many people enjoy coffee for its flavor and caffeine content. However, there are some concerns about how coffee affects children and adolescents. Some studies have shown that coffee can have positive effects on young people. For example, one study found that drinking coffee can improve attention and focus in adolescents. Another study found that coffee consumption was associated with a lower risk of depression in young adults. However, other studies have found that coffee may negatively affect young people. For example, one study found that coffee consumption was associated with a higher risk of anxiety in adolescents. Another study found that coffee consumption was associated with a higher risk of depression in young adults. So, what is the answer to the question, how old should you be to drink coffee? The answer may surprise you. There is no one-size-fits-all answer to this question. Some young people can benefit from drinking coffee, while others may not. If you consider giving coffee to a child or adolescent, you must speak with a healthcare provider first. They can help you make an informed decision about whether or not coffee is suitable for the individual. What are the health benefits of drinking coffee? Coffee has been shown to have numerous health benefits, including reducing the risk of stroke, Parkinson's disease, and Alzheimer's disease. Coffee also contains antioxidants that can help protect your cells from damage. Why is coffee bad for kids? Coffee contains caffeine, a stimulant that can be dangerous for young children. Caffeine can cause sleep problems and increase anxiety and heart rate. For these reasons, it's important to limit how much coffee your child drinks. Talk to their doctor if you're concerned about your child's caffeine intake. They can help you determine how much is safe for your child to consume. 
How old should you be to drink coffee? What are some tips for making the perfect cup of coffee? Use freshly ground coffee beans. The fresher the beans, the better the flavor of your coffee. Brew at the right temperature. Water that is too hot will produce a bitter tasting cup of coffee. Water that is not hot enough will result in a weak and flavorless cup of coffee. The ideal brewing temperature is between 195 and 205 degrees Fahrenheit. Use the proper ratio of coffee to water. A general rule of thumb is to use one tablespoon of ground coffee for every six ounces of water. This can be adjusted to your personal preferences. Don't overbrew your coffee. Overbrewing will result in a bitter cup of coffee. The perfect brewing time is between 2 and 4 minutes. Let your coffee cool to the perfect drinking temperature. Coffee that is too hot will burn your tongue. Coffee that is too cold will not taste as flavorful. The ideal drinking temperature for coffee is between 155 and 175 degrees Fahrenheit. Thank you for watching, www.coffeeeternal.com.